Good morning. So today we're going to stop and smell the roses. I was watching a gardener outside a resort property taking meticulous care of a rose bush recently. It was fascinating to watch his care and the detailed work that he put into shaping and pruning away even the smallest of branches and leaves. As I watched it, it reminded me of a very important success analogy and personal practice that I have come to master my own self. You see, as a rose bush grows, it creates more buds than it can sustain. So an experienced gardener knows that in order for it to survive, to really thrive, you have to prune some of the buds away to bring out the best in its appearance and its potential. Now, a rose bush isn't like a tree. It can't just grow wider and taller each year. So if you never trim away some of the buds, the bush will eventually exhaust itself trying to feed all the buds and then eventually die. There are so many resources, there are only so many resources to go around for a rose bush. So if you really want a rose bush to flourish, then it needs to be trimmed down, not just once, but repeatedly and actually consistently over its life. We and our never ending to do lists are like a lot of rose bushes. There are too many buds requiring nourishment. And if we try to give all of them the nourishment that they need, then we too will exhaust ourselves and die, or at least our success and our potential and our productivity will die. Our buds, our to-do lists, need to be consistently pruned and trimmed down. Just like the rose bush, we need to remove some of the ideas, some of the projects, commitments, and many of the priorities that we thought were so important to allow the remaining ideas to fully blossom and thrive. We all face constraints in our lives. We have found a limited amount of energy and capacity to apply each day. It is natural for new ideas, new projects, and new opportunities to come into our life just like it's natural for a rose bush to add new buds. But we have to prune things away before we exhaust ourselves and undermine our productivity and our success. In other words, new growth is natural and it's normal for tasks and ideas to creep into your life. But full growth and optimal living and optimal potential and success requires that you have to prune. So the bottom line is this, if you wanna reach your full potential, you have to continually prune away your own bush of ideas, tasks, projects, commitments, opportunities, and even relationship. You see, all these things take nutrition, time, energy, effort, and attention away from the other things that actually matter the most. A life left unpruned can become a twisted knot of ideas, tasks and projects competing for your limited time and limited resources. If you don't remove some of the branches from your life, the important ones will never flourish. So I want you to challenge yourself today. What if you had to, you were forced to, gun to your head, have to prune two thirds, 66% of everything on your to-do list today? What would you cut? What would remain? What if you had to cut two thirds of all your appointments for the rest of the week or the rest of the month? What about two thirds of your friends? Two thirds of your household expenses? Two thirds of your teammates? Two thirds of your children? Okay, well, <laughs> maybe not that last one, particularly if you have less than three children. <laughs> now, tell us what you're going to prune in the comments below.